Welcome to another great school year. Hi, I'm Larry Nyland, Superintendent for Seattle Public Schools. I hope you've had an incredible summer and an opportunity to rejuvenate. The start of the school year signifies a really special time of the year, filled with excitement and possibility. I can remember preparing for school as a student, excited about the friends I would make, who my teachers would be, and what I might learn. I feel the same sense of excitement today as I look forward to the great work that we'll do together to benefit students and their families. In Seattle, we're committed to every student's success, ensuring that each student in our care will graduate ready for college, career, and life. Together with the Seattle Education Association and the Principal Association, we've been working hard to address the elimination of opportunity gaps. Eliminating opportunity gaps, as you've heard me say before, is the issue of our time. It's our moral imperative and our economic imperative. I want to thank SEA and PASS for their partnership and commitment to this important work. We know from experience as educators and from research that positive relationships and welcoming environments matter for the success of all students, but especially for our students of color. Last year, across all schools, we focused on building positive relationships with students and creating welcoming environments. Schools worked to ensure each student's story, strength, and needs were known, and we made progress. I saw progress in every school I visited. Across the district, families' perceptions of school climate improved. In the family survey, families saw that schools were more welcoming and more culturally responsive these gains are because of your hard work. This year, we'll continue our focus on positive relationships for students, for adults, and for families. Collaborative and positive relationships between adults is foundational to a school's welcoming culture. In closing, I look forward to seeing your learning in action as I begin to visit schools in the next few weeks. And I know that you're as excited about this school year as I am. We have a great year ahead of us. Thank you for everything that you do. It's my honor to serve with you. Hi, I'm Phyllis Campano, special education teacher and Seattle Education Association president. Welcome back to the 2017-18 school year. SEA is committed to empower educators in providing opportunities for all students to reach their full potential. Paraprofessionals, office professionals, teachers, nurses, all educators have an impactful role in students' education and success. We can lead in the work to eliminate the opportunity gap and to build an equitable public education system. In the 2015 bargain, we brought forward the inequities of our system, bringing disproportionate discipline as a focus for our equity teams. We can expand on the exciting work of these teams. They have focused on race and equity in professional development, on having the hard conversations about bias, and building communication with their communities. Working in collaboration with each school community, discussing issues of race and equity purposefully, and having these conversations collectively with students, parents, and educators will help achieve equitable outcomes for all students. Together, we can make this work more effective to achieve the public schools all of our students deserve. Hello, my name is Chris Cronus. I'm the former president of the Principal Association of Seattle Schools. I'm speaking on behalf of Paula Montgomery, who is past president for the 2017-18 school year. The mission of the Principal Association of Seattle Schools is to support all students, advocate for equitable outcomes, and collaborate with senior leadership on district initiatives. On behalf of PASS, I'd like to welcome you back to Seattle Schools for the 2017-18 school year. As you participate in today's session and prepare for the year ahead, let's keep at the forefront of our minds that each of us is in a position of great influence. We have the capacity to impact lives in positive and powerful ways. This is a tremendous privilege and a great responsibility. Our superintendent has charged us with eliminating the opportunity gap for our students of color. This work begins with building relationships, developing resiliency, and knowing every student by story, strength, and need. 
It is important and rewarding work that will take collective knowledge and open mind and heart, as well as dedication and commitment. Together, we will accomplish our goals. Our students deserve the best from us. Our families deserve the best from us. And we must approach the work with integrity, responsibility, and self-discipline. We can initiate changes that ensure our students are loved, supported, and respected. I wish you all a fantastic day of collaboration and a successful year ahead.